So are you bored yet with all of these diorama build series, parts, episode stuff? Well, guess what? We're about to do another one because we're going to build the second diorama, which is going to go right in this big old area right here. And it's going to feature a lot more um, stuff. <laughs> I'll be right back. I got to drink some coffee. Okay, we're going to do this right. Brought to you by Come and Go. Hey everybody, this is Joe G with Touch of the Brush Model Weathering, and guess what? We're gonna do a, another part series of. Just start the intro. All right, <laughs> welcome to the next part of this diorama series. We are gonna be building another. Uh, another diorama here, and this is going to connect the coal trestle along with the bridge and it's going to continue Into the other side of the layout and this is going to be sort of the view blocker That will help block the, the rest of the layout so you kind of won't see it You kind of sort of just see right here when you first walk into the room and you get to see all the scenery and all that kind of jazz and then you go and you do your tour around the layout, right? and so Instead of using this, um, uh, I guess this particle board underneath and all this Luan that I have here, um, I'll tell you one thing, this thing is freaking heavy right now. And I don't have all the scenery on it yet. So we're going to go much lighter on this one and we're going to use some different materials and we're going to use some free cheap material like cardboard. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place this on here, right, just like this, and we are going to trace the actual base of this diorama, so let's do that. Joey, this is why you need to prepare before you cr start creating content, and, and why is this not cutting? Well, the blade's upside down, so that will help. And I got stuff falling. I just make things difficult for me, as you can tell. Okay, we did that. Now, move this out of the way before I get stabbed. I should move this out of the way because, you know, nah, never mind. I'm shaking the whole layout. Anyway, okay. I am looking. Now I'm looking for my marker. What happened to my marker? Does this happen to you guys? I mean, seriously cannot find. Oh, I know where my marker is. Not over here. I literally had it right here. I was just using it. And. Uh, well. I guess we may do this in the next part until I find my marker. This is going to be the episode of finding my marker, and then the next one is going to be looking for my scissors, and then the next one after that is going to be look, looking for it. Well, after about you know 10 minutes of looking for my marker, I finally found it. Anyway, so let's continue doing what we were doing here, and that. So we're going to do that. We're going to trace this out. So we're going to keep that kind of straight. Go around here like this. Looking for it. There we go. We're going to kind of sort of mark the territory. I think it's got this here. All right, let's place it down and see what we have to trend, which is going to be a few, I'm sure. It's going to be some, a little bit, not too bad. Not too bad. Got some spots here that I need to trim. See here, we're gonna move it up like right there. Now let's see what we got going on. Aha! That is exactly what I want to do. Why is that off? Oh, that's why. Perfection. Now, hmm. This is the fun part. Now I gotta figure out what the heck I'm gonna do as far as the structure. Uh, we're definitely gonna do the cardboard strips again, that's for sure. And what I need to do is bring this piece of wood because I think we're gonna we're gonna hot glue this piece of wood because that's the exact height I need and I think this is what because now I got a little bit of height yeah it's still a little bit off just not too not too bad so it's gonna be raised up a little bit but that's easy okay we're gonna put we're gonna hot glue uh, I'm going to hot glue that there. First I'm going to trace it so I know exactly 
where it needs to go. Okay. Then we're gonna take this makeshift bridge that looks like a, to a, a Tommy gun. Say hello to my little friend. Anyway, so we're gonna take this and it's gonna go right about here. We're gonna place it right on here, I think. Um, this is really not a, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> okay, by the way, I was able to fix my, my good camera finally, and finally, we could do some zooming. Not that I want you guys to see my face that close, but I can zoom in and out now, which is great. Anyway, I thought about it, thought about it, and it only took 10 minutes. But what we're gonna do is use this piece. It is actually level. I have this awesome level here. And it is, that's level. And that's actually fairly level. Now, I'm not worried about a little bit of a grade here. That's okay. Um, the bridge is gonna, I'm gonna have a trestle that's gonna be sitting on top of kind of on top of this so um, it's gonna come across this way and it's gonna lay on maybe not this I'm gonna have an actual piece of wood over here but this is going to be a, a more carved rock so now on, on these pieces of foam what we're gonna do is that because it is so close to the track I cannot use the um, rock bolts right so I'm gonna carve the rock here instead so we're gonna we're gonna mix up with the um, we're going to combine the plaster molds from this uh, from this diorama and then we're going to create some rock molds rock molds <laughs> we're going to create some uh, some rock formations on this foam and so theoretically we're going to have the track come across here like this and this is going to represent the kind of the northeast corridor like or a a, a main line that comes through the city, like behind the city or between the city, whatever kind of over there you'll see here in some of the updates that I put up here. Um, and that's gonna come across this way. And so we're gonna have a nice over and under shot for photography, plus it divides up the scenes. Even though it is the same town, it does create some effect where you don't see the whole layout at one time. So that's what I'm kind of sort of kind of going for. So, what I did here is uh, mark my territory again. <laughs> and uh, what I did was I marked uh, lines where I want to have all the, these pieces of wood. This is all pretty much the frame that's gonna hold the flimsy cardboard together, right? And so what I did was I made a line and I made a number so I know, oh, I should point towards the uh, actual number, right? So I made a line and a number and here is the uh, number here so that way I know when I glue it back I know exactly where I want the pieces of wood to be because we're going to be using the cardboard strip to go up here and over to these little stone hedges that I made right just like we did the other diorama that's going to be the same exact thing for this and the tracks going to go up here and then there'll be the bridge and then over here just be some height difference and this is all going to be the same I'm actually probably going to need a um, a different piece over here somewhere you know what's funny is that I'm so not, I'm not used to this camera that there is actually a screen that I can look at and I'm pointing the camera all different directions where I need it to be so now I gotta learn how to refocus this camera again all right so let's start gluing this stuff down so after attaching all the cardboard strips and filling it in with all of the uh, different newspaper and stuff um, to to make this more stable I have added uh, masking tape to the entire paper mache skeleton whatever you want to call it it is Halloween actually <laughs> that I'm actually recording this um, but as you can see here this is what it looks like now and what's cool this is an old technique using uh, masking tape and this really this is really solid like I'm, I'm full force on it right it really holds the whole thing together really nice and uh, after hot gluing all the strips and then filling it all the whole thing with newspaper, adding the uh, masking tape really does help. But as you can see here, this is where the tracks are gonna go in the bridge. This will be the front of that next rock hut that we're building. And uh, this does look silly here, but this there's it's gonna be slope with trees going up, so I'm not really worried about what that looks like. Um, this is the back end. 
this is where the divider is going to go right in here and this is where the track is going to continue in into the city scene okay so we're gonna go ahead and start um, laying down the plastic cloth that'll be the next step so I gotta grab all of my uh, old towels and uh, clean off the counter and then maybe I should get some coffee too because uh, I gotta go to work soon <laughs> but as you can see here this is what it looks like now I am not gonna bore you, bore you guys with um, how, how I put plastic cloth on I did that in the other videos so let's see how it looks like we're gonna do some moving magic so ready one two three <laughs> and that's what I call magic but here we are we have all the rocks colored and weathered I have some of the polyfiber trees here just for show to show you what the rock cuts gonna look like as well as the top of the dioramas oh and over here we have a little mock-up of what the trestle is gonna be it's gonna go above here and I do have another future video coming out showing how I made that rock wall and you can see here we have added some new stuff to the I don't want to say new stuff to the diorama, but um, yeah, I guess some extra road bed. I have raised it up just a little bit because we are going to have these tracks come together back there and they are going to be operational. So that is the plan there. As you can see, everything is coming together just nicely. And in the next video, I'll show you how I weathered and painted those rocks. It'll probably be like a, a montage video, sped up film, stuff like that. And here is an also a foam piece that I have connected to the rest of the diorama so it shows the whole entire rock wall mock-up trees there to show you what the scenery will look like once it's all completed and that folks is this episode of this part of the uh, diorama build series and so we'll go to the next one here in just a bit take care thanks for watching and thank you for all the support until next time guys this is Joey G we'll see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.